Welcome back to Yoga Express, your virtual stretch clinic that helps you move the body to still the mind. My name is Banu Suresh. I'm your host for this program. And as you can see, we have our wonderful team of participants right here back with us in the studio to help you go through several stretches that open up the chest muscles to help ease any asthmatic symptoms and as long as we understand what causes asthma, what the symptoms are, we can help target that region of the body that's most affected by asthma. Before we go into that, I would like to introduce you to our participants. To my extreme right, we have Kiwan Kato. I have your permission to call you Kato. Is Kato your last name, correct? It is my last name. It is. Your surname, is that what you said? Yeah. <laughs> so, no, no, that's good, because I'm, I'm used to the word surname, but people laugh at me when I say surname, because that's what we say in India. Okay, where did you study, well, I can't say where did you study English, but did you study English in a convent, or when you started off in a school? Um, no, but I, I schooled in Jamaica for a while. And ah, so. okay, there's some kind of influence there, <laughs> some kind of British influence there. <coughs> Uh, to Cato's left and to my immediate right, we have Talisa Michela. Ah, yes, I got it right. right. Talisa, thank you for coming back. And I especially enjoyed having both of you and Josiane in the last episode because we did this wonderful addition to the sun salutation that Josiane shared with us. She had seen it at a yoga school and she said, oh, at a on a TV yeah, program, yeah. and she said, we have to do it. So I said, okay, let's try it out. So, Talisa, thank you for coming back as well. So is there anything else you want to add? Any sequence that you want to do today? What's your choice? We don't have to do the asthma sequence. We could do the arthritis one. Well. I'm excited to do the asthma. I'm asthma? more interested in opening the chest. I'm still suffering from my... Um, <laughs> the core my, work? My core work. I still feel it here. <laughs> so I'm, I'm interested in backbending to release that Good. stress there. Okay. So I'm excited to do the asthma workout. Perfect. Because when we do backbends, as you notice, we are opening up our chest as well. Or rather, when we open up our chest, we have to bend our back. So it works very well. It works together. So backbends and chest openers are, well, I won't say backbends are good for asthma, but chest openers especially are really wonderful for opening up the heart region, the pectorals, the large muscle in the front of the chest, the intercostals, the cartilaginous muscle between the rib cage, and we have the diaphragm that separates the upper thorax, upper um, abdomen from the lower abdomen, the uh, diaphragm, which is cartilage that separates that, that also opens up. The whole of the upper body opens up. So to your point, Talisa, you will also get a bit of a back bend there. So it's like a two in one. I like that. I like, I like that, that one too. Yes. And it helps you ease off some of that pain. You've been working on your core a lot, right? I've been working on my core a lot. The bottom part is fine. <coughs> it's more so towards the bottom of my um, rib cage, which I feel much more of the pain. Right, because that's where you've been tightening a lot, right? Yes. Yeah, well, you're in great shape, so I guess it's paying off, right? <laughs> well, hopefully it pays off eventually um, very well, but yes. I'm excited. Yes, I'm glad. I'm glad you're back. We're really happy to have you. Josie and my dear crazy Josie, and thank you for that wonderful idea in the last episode. We really appreciate you sharing it with us. My Anything pleasure. else you want to add? Do you have any fancy additions to the asthma sequence? Um, Would you like to improvise? You can improvise as we go. We have no problems. We'll go with her, right? She gets very creative. She gets really totally addicted. We love you, Josie, and oh, we can improvise you. as we go. We're going to take the ones that we checked off on these. Is this part of the asthma as well? The, um, yes, bec typically, because yes. you're supposed to open up the chest. Typically we don't always chest, do it yeah. because it gets crunched up. But we, we may not have time to do everything. Okay. So yes, we're going to leave it to you to share that you have the asthma card. So we're going to share this. Folks at home, if you're going to be stretching with us, just remember we have a lot of support for you. We have 
a very simple ailment specific postcard. All right, my postcards are all marked, but I'm going to show it to you. Maybe hold it up for our camera person. Irina, thank you so much. Irina Colgan uh, is our camera person today. And Kenny Ryan, Kenneth Ryan, he's allowed me to call him Kenny, is our director for today's episode. Thank you so much for being there, for holding the fort for us, and Rich Spezial. Thank you so much for this great lighting and the studio setup. We have a postcard. We also have a fridge magnet for you, so that's another bit of support for you. We have a website as well, www.yogaexpress.com. So stick this on your fridge, put the postcard in your handbag. Don't look for any excuses not to stretch. You have a lot of reminders. You have the website. We have a blog as well. Plus, thank you for remembering Josian. Josian brought her copy. The robotic camera is gone, and it's going to take pictures of somebody who is sitting on the wall. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay, Kenny. I know. Kenny, you're doing a great job. The robotic camera just moves every time someone passes by, so we're not too worried about it. Uh, the book Yoga Secrets has a set of 10 ailment-specific cards inside it to help you do your workout ailment by ailment. As you know, every ailment targets a certain region of the body. So we're going to focus on asthma today. This episode is dedicated to you, Talisa. Oh, thank you. Tomorrow's episode will be dedicated to Kato if you're back. <laughs> so that's going to tempt you to come back. <laughs> We are going to go through some chest openers. So let's start. Let's get up. We're going to start with some standing chest openers. And you have your card to refer to. So I might just call out the posture number. I just, I'll just call out the instructions. We'll talk ourselves through it. Let's go into Josian's favorite posture. Let's all turn to the left. Bring your feet, bring your legs out about three and a half feet apart. If you're very tall, as Talisa is, you might want to bring your legs out just a little more. Turn your right foot out. <coughs> bring your upper body, turn your upper body to the left. So make sure that your whole upper body, or your whole body is facing the left of the studio or your room. Just your right foot is turned out. Now put the brakes on in your left foot. Turn your left foot in so the heel of your right foot aligns with the sole of the right foot. Inhale the right, both arms up to shoulder height, palms facing down. Give yourself a little bit of extra leverage by leaning to the right, just a little bit. Look to your right. Exhale, dip your torso and your right arm. Bring your right palm in front of your right foot or your right ankle. Take your left arm all the way up, both palms face forward. You should feel a delicious stretch in the back of your legs and the inside of your upper right thigh. But more than that, because this is a sequence, this is an episode dedicated to asthma postures, you want to make sure you open up your chest. So we're gonna push the left shoulder as far back as we can. And Josiane feels that someone is holding her arm, pulling her arm up from above, right Josiane? Okay, you want them to pull a little firmer, come back, bring your left shoulder back. Very nice, inhale. Press with your right foot, let's come up. Now, turn your right foot in, turn the left foot out. When we come out, when we get into this posture, the arm that is raised, you wanna make sure that shoulder opens up so you open up that part of your chest. Since this is a two-part posture, you wanna do one side of the chest at a time. Arms are still at shoulder height. This is also a test of our arm strength. You wanna make sure that you keep your arm nice and steady. Right foot is turned in, so put your brakes on in the right foot. Turn your left foot out, look to the left. Lean to the left just a little bit. Give yourself an extra leverage. Exhale, dip your torso to the left. Left palm comes in front of the left ankle. Right arm goes all the way up. This is, I cannot remind you often enough, this is a series, a sequence dedicated to asthma posture. So you wanna open up your chest, take your right shoulder back as far back as you can. Both palms face forward. <coughs> Inhale, let's come up. Now, we may, we can just continue on where we are. So turn the left foot back in, turn the right foot out, and this time we're gonna exhale, bend the right leg at the knee, and we're gonna dip our torso again to the right. Exhale, and bend. <coughs> Keep exhaling. Dip your right arm in front of your right ankle. Take your left arm all the way up for that little bit of extra challenge and a little bit of a greater, deeper opening in your, the left part of your chest. Take your arm, 
raise arm all the way overhead. Now take your arm all the way, Josie Ann. Keep going. <laughs> Keep going. Very nice. Take your arm all the way. You should also feel, in addition to that wonderful chest opener, you should feel that beautiful stretch in your obliques on the left side, the left side of your waist. Inhale, let's come up. Bring both the arms up to shoulder height. Unbend your right knee. Turn your right foot in, turn your left foot out. <coughs> Hi, Helman, would you like to stretch with us? Exhale, bend your left leg at the knee. Look to the left, keep exhaling. Dip your left arm, left palm comes in front of the left ankle, right arm goes all the way up. For that extra challenge, take your right arm all the way overhead till you feel a beautiful, beautiful stretch in your obliques on the right side. That is helping open up your diaphragm. And more than that, if you take your shoulders back as your arm goes overhead, you will feel a wonderful pectoral stretch as well. Kato, can you feel the pectoral stretch? I feel it. I know you work out of the gym, so you, and so do you, uh, Talisa. Do you guys, do you feel it too? I totally feel it. Fantastic, inhale, let's come up. Josiane and I are yoga addicts only. Josiane, you don't go to the gym too, do you? Um, That's the only thing you don't do. You do everything else, you crazy girl. <laughs> Turn your left foot in, wiggle your toes closer together. Exhale, bring your arms down by your side. Let's turn to face the cameras. Now, before I get confused, are we doing the asthma series or the arthritis? Okay, I wanna make sure I'm following <laughs> the right sequence. We're gonna do a little bit of an intense back bend this time. <coughs> In case we run out of time, before we do time ourselves out, I want to thank the people who made this episode possible, if I haven't already done that. Irina Colgan and Kenny Ryan, thank you so much for being there with us and getting this program on air today. Let's turn to the left. Bring your feet about 12 inches apart. You want to bring, put your brakes on. So I'm going to stagger myself. Josie, and you might want to come forward closer to the cameras. Your feet are about 12 inches apart from each other. Both feet, the insides of both your feet are parallel and about 12 inches. Now, if you feel, this is gonna be a bit of an intense back bend. Since we're dedicating it to Talisa this time, Talisa, this is something for you to enjoy a little more. It gives you a back bend plus a chest opener. Now, if you feel it's a little too intense for you today, you might wanna bring your feet out a little further. Now, if you feel very strong, you can bring your feet all the way close together. It's all up to you. I'm gonna take it at midpoint. We don't wanna take any chances. So about 12 inches apart. <coughs> Place your palms on your buttocks and push your elbows back. Adina, feel free to join us whenever you want to. We always have a spare mat. Thank you. <laughs> push your elbows back to try and meet each other as close as you can. <coughs> We're gonna inhale, so inhale, take your chin up. Once you go past midpoint, glide your palms down the back of your legs. Keep gliding, keep the connection. Do not suspend your hands in midair. Go as deep as you can. Start exhaling when you get past midpoint. And hold. Remember, bend your knees if you have to. Remember, when we say hold, it's hold your posture, not your breath. Inhale, come up. Oh, I can feel that. Do you feel that, Talisa? Oh, yes. Yeah, it feels good, huh? <laughs> and actually, uh, Kate, I wanted to ask you, do you feel dizzy when you come up? Because sometimes people do. Did you feel dizzy at all? If, you come up, if I come up too fast. If you come up too fast, yeah. yeah. What's happening is actually the blood flows to your head. It's rushing to your head when you lean back, if you're really going deep all the way back. And when you come back up, it hasn't had a chance to settle down yet. So you will feel a little bit, a little dizzy. Anyway, to balance that, we're just gonna stand right where we are and just balance that out a little bit, just to keep your hands on your hips and just fold over. This is not part of the asthma series. We're just gonna fold over just a little bit. <clears throat> you wanna make sure that you ease any tension in your back and your spinal extensors in the back of your body. Inhale, let's come up. Let's come to face the front of the studio. <clears throat> We're gonna get into a Nataraj posture, the dancer's pose, transfer your weight to the right leg. Lift your right, left heel off of the floor. Hold on to your left ankle from behind with your left hand. Place your right hand 
on your right hip. You'll have to keep that cup down, Adina, to do the rest of it. <laughs> now, make sure you have a nice firm grip on your left ankle. Once you're ready, once you feel really confident, inhale the right arm up. Look at a point in front of you that doesn't move. Don't look at Adina, don't look at Irina. <laughs> yes, cheers to your cup. Exhale, dip your torso, lift your knee. For the chest opener, it's not essential to dip forward. We're just doing it as a bit of an extra challenge. Inhale, come up. Exhale and release. <coughs> you have to join us tomorrow, Adina. Transfer your weight to the left leg. Place your left hand on your left hip. Hold on to your right ankle from behind. We have Adina in the background who's stretching with us. She's a producer here at MNN. She loves yoga and she's crazy. She also has her own yoga show. So when she comes on, I'll tell you a little more about her. Now hold on to your right ankle from behind. Inhale the left arm up. Look at a point in front of you that doesn't move. Exhale, dip your torso, lift your knee. Very nice. I can see through the side of my eyes. Kato and Talisa, your leg lifts are beautiful. I cannot see on my left side because my arm is raised. Inhale, come up. But I've always known Josiane to have a beautiful dancer's pose as well. Mm, Exhale and today. release. I know you hate balance postures. It's okay, you're in good company. I hate them too. But sometimes we need to do what we hate to be able to keep doing what we love. So we just keep doing what we hate so we get better at it. One more chest opener. This is a wonderful chest opener as well as a little bit of a back bend. So it's a semi-seated, it's not really a seated position. Ashwa Sanchala. The equestrian posture, that would be number 18. You won't be seeing the numbers, but the second last, the second one on the second row, the last one on the second row. <coughs> when we are transitioning from one posture to another in the full sequence, you will enter this posture a slightly different way, but right now we're going into it by itself. So place your right foot in front of the left one. Take your left leg all the way back, as far back as you can comfortably go and as long as you're able to keep your left heel on the floor, bend your right knee, curl the toes in your left foot very gently, place your left knee on the floor. We're gonna come up into, come into Ashwa Sanchala, equestrian posture, wiggle your right foot as far forward as you can. <coughs> I don't know if there is something called a muscle association. Is there a muscle association in North America that insists that you shouldn't take your knees too far over the toes? Yes. Okay, is that, is that what they call muscle association? I don't know what it's called, but I just think that um, it's all about the making sure your ankles are in line with the knees where you don't give yourself problems. Don't hyperextend. Hyperextend okay. your um, joints. Ah, all right. I'm glad you shared that with us because sometimes we do take a few liberties with our body in yoga. <laughs> but yes, it's good to know. It's good to be aware of what the dangers are. And if you do take those liberties with your body, knowing full well that you might hurt yourself, you have no one else to blame. So it's okay, we're not gonna take a chance. Wiggle your right foot forward if you need to. Uncurl the toes in your left foot. Going to just keep exhaling and dip forward just a little more, not too far. The knee need not go too far over the toes. Just enough, and if you're very tall like Talisa is, Kato is very tall, Josian's taller than I am, you may want to bring your foot even further forward. Now, <clears throat> in this position, we don't need to go anywhere else. Just open up your chest, elbows are close to your body, and hold. Hold your posture, not your breath. Inhale, let's come out of that, and let's switch legs. This is a posture with two parts, so you want to stretch the other leg. Even though the idea is chest opener, you want to make sure that your legs are balanced as well. Bring your left foot as far forward as you need to. Uncurl the toes in your right foot. Place both your hands on your left knee and dip. Keep dipping, keep exhaling. Open up your chest, take your shoulders back, elbows close to the body, and hold. Enjoy this posture as much as you can. Close your eyes if you want to just enjoy the sensation. Keep exhaling. <coughs> Inhale, let's come out of that posture. Let's go directly into cat position, Josiane's favorite. Okay, <laughs> we're gonna come in, come down on our hands and knees. Knees are directly below the hips. 
palms are directly below the shoulders. You want to keep your toes curled in in the start of this position. So you want to be nice and comfortable, nice and secure on the mat. If you notice that Josiane has socks on, please be reminded that she's got rubber dots under her socks. So if you have to practice with your socks on, make sure you have the traction that you need. Kato, you have your socks on too and you've got rubber dots on it. We won't tell anyone if you don't. <laughs> no. But we are, we've practiced long enough to know that we need to be safe. We are very mindful of our body. We will respect our body, so we'll be careful. Now, <clears throat> if you want to get a deeper dip, um, no, actually, we're not yet in Ashtanga. Okay, let's stay here. Toes are curled in. Inhale. Uh, while, as we inhale, we're going to lift our chin and chest up and our buttocks, and the torso, the middle part of the torso will dip down. So you're going to inhale first, toes are curled in, inhale, and lift your chest and chin and buttocks. Exhale, uncurl your toes, arch your back. Let's try that one more time to redeem ourselves. Curl your toes in, inhale, lift your chin and your buttocks. Exhale, arch your back, uncurl your toes. Let's come to neutral position while I point out something. Josian, you said you had cats at home? Yes, four. You have four cats. No wonder you have so much practice. You've been watching all of them in turns. <laughs> Josian has four cats at home, so she's had a lot of practice in this posture. If you have cats at home, watch them when they do their little... Is it... When stretch. do they get into that stretch? stretch? Is it a yawn? What is it? It's wonderful. I mean, they are the best stretcher in the world. <laughs> <laughs> Even more than down dog? <laughs> well, if you have pets at home, watch when they try to relax. It's very relaxing. The undulating motion of the body as it curves down and comes up and then arches itself. The spine itself gets a beautiful stretch in and out. So you're actually giving your body, the spine, a beautiful massage even without touching any part of yourself. Now we're going to do another chest opener. Curl your toes in first and let's come up on our knees. Now I'm going to bring my toes a little closer this time to give yourself a little more of a challenge. And the reason I said curl your toes in, Ustra Asan, Ustra is camel. Asan, of course, is posture. The reason I said curl your toes in, just to point out to folks at home that if you feel the need to touch your heels with your hands right from the first time, from the word go, it's okay to fold your knees. Just be aware that when you fold your knees, there's greater pressure. Uh, when you fold your heels, there's greater pressure on your knees. So I think anyone who's past whatever age, okay, anyway, five minutes. Uh, anyway, as we grow older, we want to be more mindful of our knees as well. So I'm not going to take a chance with my knees. I'm going to uncurl my toes. We don't mind in the studios. We do not mind if our hands do not reach our heels. What we do want to be careful about is not to suspend our hands in midair. So you want to be careful when you glide your palms down the back of your legs. Keep that contact with the back of your thighs. So we're going to keep our feet flat. <coughs> I'm going to, let's turn a little bit, all of us, let's turn just a little bit to one, to the left side. Just a little, not too much. <laughs> Knees are either directly below, below the hips or a little closer. If you want to challenge yourself more, you can bring them a little closer. Place your palms on your buttocks. Push your elbows back. This posture is quite similar to the standing back bend that we did, which is called Tiriangasan. That's our signature posture for this uh, program. Now this one is Ustrasan. So we're going to push our elbows back, inhale, lift the chin up. Once you get past midpoint, start exhaling, glide your hands down the back of your thighs. Right hand reaches for the right heel, left hand reaches for the left heel. Once you've made that connection, push your pelvis forward. Now if your hands do not get to your heels today, it's okay. Don't punish yourself. Just place your palms on the back of your thighs. Learn to forgive yourself. It's okay if you do not get into any final posture. The idea is to feel a chest opener. And in this case, you have a double benefit. You have a good back bend. Inhale, come up. And let's just ease off that back bend just a little bit. Let's sit down for a few seconds and just fold over in child posture. This is not part of the asthma sequence. It's not a chest opener. As a matter of fact, it's the other way around. 
You're just easing off any tension in the back because of the back bend. Inhale, let's come up. <coughs> We're gonna skip the Supta Vajra. Let's do another chest opener. We have pigeons. Since we are naturally in this position, we just have a couple of minutes. So we are naturally in a position that will take us directly to pigeon. We have two minutes. Perfect, good timing. Place, keep your knees where they are. Take the left knee back behind you. Just glide it behind as gracefully as you can. Feel free to watch any of our participants. We're all at different stages in any given posture. Some of us may have a foot way in front. And my foot is not going to come all the way in the front, but I'm not going to beat myself up over it. I'm going to just do the best I can. Just make sure you do the best you can on any given day. And that's the idea. It's all about attitude. You want to just make sure you make the most of yourself. <coughs> If you can bring your foot out as far forward as Talisa is doing right now, that's great. It just means that her abductor muscles, the muscles on the outside of her thighs, are nicely stretched. They're already trained to stretch, and that gives her greater flexibility to do that. Now, I don't think I'm quite there yet, so I'm happy where I am. Just make sure your hips are nice and centered. Now, Josiane's not going to forgive me if we don't do the forward fold. Before we do that, mm -hmm. we want to open up our chest first. This is a chest opening, opening series, so you want to just open up your chest. <coughs> Exhale and fold over. This also releases any tension in the back for going into that back bend. Inhale, let's come up. And let's switch legs. You want to make sure that you also get the stretch in the other leg. <coughs> Beautiful, Kenny. Perfect timing. Take the right leg all the way back. Is your name spelled right this time? It is perfectly spelled. Good. Now, this side of my body feels a little more flexible than the other side. It's cooperating just a little more because I mean, I, I can feel my left leg a left foot coming forward just a little bit. So that means my abductor muscles on my left side are a little more stretchy, if there is such a word. Hold up, hold your chest out. <clears throat> Bring your shoulders back. Exhale and fold. Inhale, press with your palms. Let's come up while the cameras are still rolling. We'll just go directly into Baddha Kona or Kabla. Kenny, you tell us whenever we are timed out, we're okay, we're just continuing, we're just addicted, so we're gonna keep going. Place the soles of your feet together and hold on to both your feet with your hands and push your thighs down. So you wanna make sure, this is one of my favorite postures. Have you noticed, Josiane, when you, it's really good for the back. when you, yeah, it's good for the back. And, oh yes, that reminds me, open up your chest. That's the idea in the sequence, right, in this uh, episode, right? Chest opens, it does open up the back. Now, if you want to get a little more of a challenge, you can just fold over, exhale, and fold. We're just continuing to stretch, Kenny, because the cameras are on us. We're just becoming a very vain lot over here. Inhale, let's come up. That was cobbler position. And are we still on? No, I'm thinking of No, if we're still on, we're happy. We're totally uh, hyped up over here. No problem, we can keep going. <laughs> Thank you, Kenny. <laughs> Actually, there was, you know, if they hadn't timed us out, that this posture would have been a great chest opener. But no, that's, and even your fish. Yeah, I love the fish. It is nice, huh?